of Saturday is set for Metamora Fields for the final round of the OSF Children's Hospital of Illinois Championship. We start with the All-Pro Tour and the men. Lucas Carper shot a 58 Wednesday at Metamora Fields today. He settled for a 67, but he's in fourth place very much in contention. Louisville, Kentucky's Cooper Musselman, the great approach shot here. His three rounds so far, 65, 63, 64. Musselman has a two-shot lead going into the final round. Final group tees off tomorrow at 12.58 if you want to see some great golf. The ladies are also sizzling. They battled through some rainstorms today. The top girls did, but Jennifer Herbst from Down Under from Australia. Birdie right here on number six. She's in sixth place. Jean Reynolds from Georgia surge into the lead but is now two shots back. The leader is California's Kayla Von Saga at minus 10. The final group tees off on the back nine, also just before one at 12.58. All right, to basketball. I spent the morning with the Bradley Braves, but with no basketball. The Braves going through a very tough weightlifting workout today under the leadership of Director of Sports Performance, Eddie Pappas. But the Braves also had some extra motivation today. Their thrilled teammate, Malibai Leone, signed an NBA deal yesterday with the Oklahoma City Thunder. Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, Mally got uh, with OKC, signed the contract with OKC. You know, that just drive, drives us more, you know what I'm saying? For him to come from the Valley, you know, come from this program, it's possible, anything's possible, but it starts here. Now to high school basketball and a basketball bonanza this weekend at Normal West, the Midwest Rope. <laughs> The Midwest Crossroads Showcase, drawing teams from all over the Midwest. This is an official NCAA recruiting event. Peoria Emanuel drawing lots of college coaches and playing well today. Terrence Page ahead of the pack, scores for the Rams right here. But Dietrich Richardson is the player the coaches are here to watch. Watch Richardson leading the fast break to pretty dish right here. Taj Tolliver for the hoop. Then Richardson showing off from outside and above the rim. Outside the three, the six foot six Richardson had Iowa in town to check him out today. Later, the alley oop dunk to Richardson. Manuel split two games against top St. Louis teams. Normal Community was the tallest team in the state last year. They got one tall guy back. Big Kobe Walker down low, and boy, he is one of the more improved players in the state. The pretty post move right there by Kobe. Then Trey Burdett's going to drill a three right here for the iron. Later, it's going to be freshman Chase Caston is going to chase down the loose ball, and he's going to get the ball to Kobe. Kobe's throwing it down. Normal Community went one and one today. Morton fresh off a title at the Morris shootout, and they just keep on winning for Coach Abe Zeller. Boy, I love the game of Wes Goodman. Goodman doing it all. The big guy leads the break and goes all the way to the rim for the bucket right here. Later, watch Gudeman, the beautiful dish to Cal Boker, big to big for a hoop right there. Jude Zeller is going to find the sharpshooter, Alex McKee, for three. Coaches were dazzled by McKee's three-point shooting. Grant Selke with some nifty footwork down low right here as he goes right through with the old spin and in move. And then it's a Chip Rugard going to the basket. The Potters just keep on winning. They're having a great summer. They go 2-0. Today, Bloomington Central Catholic also playing well today. Impressed with Valshon Powell, they're not so big guy, but boy, he does a lot of stuff for me. Attacks and scores right here. The football, basketball standout Powell for two. And then it's Trey Eller living up to his name with a tray from outside. And super sophomore Keyshawn Manny continues to impress. Watch this nifty move right here. The Saints are back in action early, pretty early tomorrow morning. El Paso Gridley, another small school battling with the big schools, and Micah Meese to Jonah Funk. How many times have we said those names? Micah to Jonah, hammer time. Well, later, it's going to be Meese with the three for El Paso Gridley. They went one and one on the day, including a most impressive win over Rockridge. This time, it's going to be Meese to Funk, and a quick reminder that Funk does rhyme with dunk. More on basketball tomorrow at Normal West.